for you um well what are these those are our specialty blends this place primarily sells beans so this is where people come to try the beans and see if they like them my experience uh when i can't pronounce something it usually tastes better than whatever's easy to say is that so yeah i mean i usually just say <laughs> coffee and that's the end of the conversation ah uh, not an aficionado then well not yet i uh i tried a. Uh, Frappuccino or mocha. You know the one with chocolate the well, other day? Well, I could make you one if you'd like. We've discovered that recipe here, too. Well, now I know this place is legitimate, then. I, uh, think I'll have the wackadoo bean thingy, though. I may as well get as far out of my comfort zone before, uh, finding my way back to chocolate frappuccinos. Oh, if I do my job right, you'll never have to find your way back that far. I, uh, I don't know if I can. This place is in the middle of nowhere. I'm pretty lost right now. Lost as shit. Do you need directions? I think, uh... Oh, um, well, could I have this Toarcho thingy? Toarco, close. Uh, it's sort of a citric blend with caramel and floral flavors. Hmm, so like, uh, eating a flower? Floral flavor, it's not like eating a dandelion. Oh, so it's more like drinking one. <laughs> I can't say I've tried, but I don't think so. What is that? That is the Chemex. Do I want that? Well, that depends. Do you want good coffee or do you want mind-blowing coffee? Um, mind-blowing, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of a gift and a curse. You get so much flavor out of the Chemex that it's hard to go back to normal coffee after. You might get lost out here more often. Sold. <laughs> Blow me away. Is that to stay or go? Um, should probably get going. There's a meeting I have to go to later. That'll be 4.30 today. Is it okay if it takes me a minute to prepare? Ah, uh, sure, yeah. fucking cup of coffee. Where were you? It's 10.25. I thought we said 10. Didn't we say the meeting was at 10? 10 in my book means 10. Not 10.10. 10, not 10.30. Not 11. Not even 9.30. 10 means 10, you know. It's not about punctuality. It's about responsibility. Accountability. Sorry. Anyways, it's sort of a big commitment, don't you think? I mean, are you really prepared to invest into something like that? Trust me, we're committed. We're well aware of how much we're investing in this. It's just, you adopted a kid. You adopted a kid? Adoption. You adopted a kid? Yes, Lou, honey. We adopted a child. You adopted a kid? Yes. Your father and I... You adopted a kid? Yes, Lou, listen. Your father and I told... Well, you know what? I have some great news, too. You do? Great news, headline news, breaking news. We interrupt this regularly scheduled program to tell you this good news news. I got a job! Oh my god, really? That's great! Oh honey, I'm so proud of you. That's great news. Louis? Louis, did you hear? Louis got himself a job. Can you believe it? Huh? Lou got himself a job. He did? Yeah, he just told me. Can you believe it? No. So, what's the big job? I'm starting my own company. <laughs> I thought you said you got a job. Well, yeah, I mean, kind of. I mean, I'm, I'm starting my own business. Yeah, I heard. Do you have a business plan? Do you know what you're doing? How much money have you put into this? You adopted a kid? I'm, I'm sorry, I just, 
I can't get over that. Yes, we adopted a child. Your father and I... Why? Were, why what? Why did you adopt a kid? I told you, your father and I... Is that it? I... You're just ashamed of me and, and you wanted another son no, so you could no, give a, no. a second chance or... No, Louie, honey, of course not. That doesn't even make sense. Your father and I... Why would you get another kid? You're in your 50s. You're old. You're And you're weak. You should be expecting grandkids, not kids. I mean, Jesus, wait a little while, will you? I, I'm old enough to be having kids. Are you seeing someone? See, grandkids, exactly. Not a kid. I mean... How old is this kid anyways? Twelve. Twelve? He's twelve? What the hell? He'll be on his own in like, in like two years. I mean, what if he changes? What if he starts a gang? We are giving him a good life and a good home for now. We're putting him in a position to be successful. You can't just do this now that you have more money and everything. Get another kid so that you can try again. And no, This is not fair. This, this, this doesn't count. I'm not counting it. Nope. He's not my brother. It doesn't count. I'm not counting it. No. Lewis Andrew Wilson III, don't you dare talk about your new brother that way. My new brother? He's not my new brother. He's just some, some kid you adopted. I don't want to call him brother. I mean, does he even have a name? Owen. <laughs> You're naming him Owen Wilson? Owen Wilson? That's already taken. You can't do that. I mean, doesn't he already have a name? And what's it going to be at, at some point? This is my brother, Owen Wilson, and Woody Allen, and Luke Wilson. Sin. You know, I mean, this kid's gonna be more screwed up than I am. Do you realize that? So, this is your room now, huh? Yeah. This used to be my room. Your stuff's in the boxes? That's right. That one over there is a box of toys. You want it? They, um, they might be a little old-fashioned. If you want any of them, you can just, uh, grab a few of them and take them to your room. Oh, well. Just, um, make a little pile of the ones you don't want and, um, just give them back to me. In fact, why don't you just um, just take what you like out of the box and just um, bring the rest back to me. Is that okay? to bring this up earlier but uh, I'm, I'm sort of in uh, in transition right now and um, I, I need the piece of home so uh, I was wondering if I could just move back in well I mean sure Lou we'll help you get back on your feet honey but why can't you stay in a bedroom I, I can't stay in my bedroom Owen Wilson's in my bedroom remember what about Andrew's room well I don't want to sleep in his room I want to sleep in my own room it's not your room anymore it's Owen's room you haven't lived here for like five years, Lou. There's a point where it stops being home, you know? I, I have to get back to work here. I have some coffee business. Okay. <sighs> what the fuck was that called?
I thought everyone was asleep. Hey. Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? I don't know. Don't, don't you have stuff to do in the morning? Shouldn't you be getting ready for that? I don't know. Maybe you should think about hitting the hay. It's pretty late, man. Game will still be there in the morning. You know, like, like it's all about um, taking that extra step to be responsible. I mean, it's just something you have to do. Grown-ups and life and all those good things. You'll understand when you're older. Okay. I said I was gay for Stephen Hawking. What? I said what if I What are you doing you, today? I don't know. I was going to go get some lunch. Can you pick up some hamburger meat? I could just get you a hamburger. No. Can you pick some up for tonight? What's tonight? Dinner. What? Every day we eat dinner, Lou. Oh, well, I mean, I don't know if I could go in there and ask for just raw meat. I, I, I don't know if they sell that. I know Fuddruckers has like a... Just go to the grocery store, Lou. Well, why don't you go? I mean... What are you just too busy crafting? Uh, I'll go. Thank you. Can I have some money? Actually, the the, uh, the electric grinder was a little expensive. <laughs> so a hammer walks into Lou, a... Lou, we uh, have a bean grinder. Your father grinds his own beans. You're not supposed to use an electric one because um, because I heard that uh, it sort of heats up and starts to cook cook the beans a little bit, and uh, and I couldn't find it. Where's my hamburger meat? Actually.
Packers. Hey guy, Lou. Hey. hey, it's Lou Wilson. Lou Wilson. Yeah, hey. How you been? Good, Noon Packers. I mean, you know, it's me, Lou. Yeah, hey, yeah. hey what are you what have you been up to? <laughs> oh, you know, just uh, just the usual. How was uh, how's the wedding? Uh has it happened yet? Oh, she wants it right now, but it's still a few years away. <laughs> the, the soon packers! Maybe. Yeah. Oh no, but I seen you jogging over there. What are you what have you been doing? Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. So I, was, I was eating like a burger earlier, and then I thought to myself, you know, I don't know. I should uh, lose some weight or, or something. Oh, you look great. Yeah, it looks like he's put on a few pounds since high school. That's really nice. What have you been up to? Probably still the frozen pizza expert, right? You used to know all about frozen pizzas. Uh, stop that. I'm sure he left that part of his life in high school. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, I'm st oh. still eating frozen pizzas. But I started my own business. Doing what? Beans. Coffee. Coffee beans. The coffee business. Sounds impressive. That's really great, Lou. Yeah, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, uh... Um, maybe... Yeah. So you good? Doing okay? Yeah, you know. Good. Some stuff uh, this weekend. What about you? Uh, this weekend... Well, we were, we were actually considering going to Lake House this weekend. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah, it should come with us sometime. It'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure. Lake House, um, this weekend. Yeah, I mean, I guess, sure. <laughs> I mean, whatever you want to do. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I'll see you this weekend. Okay, okay. yeah, and wait. What? time. I don't understand how you managed to do this every single time. I didn't do it on purpose. Well, no shit. Stop yelling at me. Stop spilling in my car. It was an accident. Every time, Amy, you answered. Good, Good morning. Every single time. Oh, hey, Lou. You made it. Yeah, oh my god. You know, I, uh, you have to be like I'm this. really pumped for this. Yeah, well, 
Wow, you're all packed and everything. That's great. Yeah, okay. I, uh, I brought some uh, hard what lemonade. Kind of it's, uh, it's for the Stop research. It. Just clean. It well, it's just pink. Get the, get the, it's just it, uh, pop. It's, gonna, it's not that it's bad. Your car has alcohol. Who cares about your car? There's nothing. So, how long have you guys been together? Uh, eight years this coming August. Eight years? Fuck. I don't even think I hit puberty eight years ago. <laughs> hey, didn't you, uh, didn't you go out with that one girl in high school? Um, God, what was her name? Uh, uh, Tabby something? Yeah, Tabby, right. Yeah. So, that didn't work out? Whoa, nice car. Is it, uh, is it Japanese? No, American. The 1970s. Pretty cool, though, huh? Yeah, American. Just like the cheese. I'm Lou Wilson. Hey, Fago. Nice to meet you. Vago? Fago. Fago. Kind of, but with, with a hard A. Oh, right. Okay. That's that's what I was thinking. Yeah, you're, you know, you're close. <laughs> yeah. But hey, if you're looking for a car, I'm looking to fix her up so I can sell her, uh, let me know, you know. Hook you up yeah, uh, I'd love to. I just, uh, I can't even afford to to buy a pot to brew coffee in. <laughs> well, hey, you know, if you change your mind, tell Amy, she'll let me know. Sure. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah, no problem. Internship at the sheriff's office this summer. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Who's your friend? Oh, that's Lou. He's. Uh, he, I told him there's a sale at Radio Shack. You went to he high school with us. To us so. Well, it's nice to meet you, Luke. <laughs> Likewise. Lovely place you have here. Well, thank you. Wait till you see the lake. Oh, I brought my floaties. Yeah. Seen bigger. Yeah, I thought the lake would be bigger. You insulting my grandma's lake guy? It's basically just a big pond. How big are the lakes you've made? Uh, I don't know. I built a lake once. Five days yeah? Days a week. Yeah. It's a well, that's great. Yeah. Right can you can you go boating on this one though? Uh, we had an inflatable boat when we were kids. That worked pretty well. Yeah. Still have it though? Uh, I don't know. Hey Mary, still got the boat? It should be in the storage room, but I think you guys might sink. Oh. No. Well, I mean, I, I hope oh, not. No. I've uh, I've lost a little weight in the past year, you know. Sleep, went to the gym, sure. just kept uh, standing on the treadmill and watching the news. Like, remember when that uh, the plane got lost? Wait, didn't we find that? Why do I think we found that? Because how the hell do you lose a plane today? It doesn't make sense. I stopped following that. It reminded me of Lost, and the last time I got invested in a plane mystery, I got burned. I feel like it's a lot harder to write mysteries on TV. You know, like uh, in the 80s when they had the laugh track and the sitcom generator. I mean, I could even do that. Uh, vet who hates animals. Boom. Syndicated for 30 years. But he failed out of med school, so that was his only option. <laughs> exactly. How about an antisocial bartender? An overly confident gynecologist. Oh, look at that. Uh, maybe an overly productive public construction worker. A depressed plumber. A giant coal miner. A kleptomaniacal banker. A kleptomaniacal garbage man. <laughs> Where have you been all my life? You? There she is. Beautiful. There's too many. There's, there's That's what the problem is here. No, but it doesn't fit. Look at this.
So, um, cheers to boats, boats and lakes, boats and lakes, <laughs> bitches. Chores? Favors. There's a difference. But I just got back from vacation! This isn't the church we normally go to. God damn it. I don't know where any of these goddamn places are. God likes this one just as much as the one you went to before. I, I promise. Brothers and sisters in Christ, in today's gospel, our Lord recommends that we study and understand our faith, that we preserve in the times we've lost enthusiasm, and that we practice detachment from the things of this world in preference to gospel. Did you ever think about that? People who walk all over the sidewalk as are pigeon shit in their mouth. Did you ever think about that? What? Yeah, I just fucking said that. You say bad words a lot. Jesus. What is this? Parental board meeting or something? Do you ever think about that? About what? About that. I think we'll just go to the other church next time. What? No, it's it's because of the music. Have you ever gone to church? It's like five hours. Yeah. The band just kept going on and on and on and... Hello? Mom? Are you, are you there? Hello? What the hell? My phone just shut off mid-call. I've been charging this like all night! Did you ever think about that? Do you think I should take you to the phone place? Did you get it wet? No, I don't think so. I mean, I go running sometimes and kind of get sweaty in the, uh, the rear region, but... Do you think that would even do it? I'm not sure. I don't think the warranty will cover it if your rear sweat broke it, though. I'll have to go check. Can't run a business without a phone. Well, you can add it to the list. What is this? That's your favorite list. Those are chores! They're favors. Those are like stereotypical chores you give 12 year olds. When's the last time you got your oil changed? In the car? Sure, if the 
if it's an engine or a loose bolt or something. Yeah, but but I mean the chances of me getting killed, I mean, pretty slim. Well, maybe if you're on the highway, then the engine seizes. So the car might die. Yes. Oh, but I'm not gonna die. Uh, probably not. Oh, the car. Yeah, okay. yeah you gotta check the oil. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. You know, whatever you can do, would be great. Okay. We'll keep looking at it. All right. Thank you. Oh my God, Peach. Oh my God, Lou, is that you? Dude, you look like ten years older. Yeah. Well, I uh, took up hard liquor pretty quickly after. Oh man. Well, uh, how you been? No, not too great, actually. Uh, right now, I kind of feel like a, a 40 year old hooker upside down on a playground doing meth. I mean, my phone keeps inexplicably dying, and my piece of shit car is just so old. It just breaks down every fucking day. God. Well, uh, let me tell you something, Lou. That's what I dick Chaney for. <laughs> he does all that kind of stuff for me, you know? I don't even know how to talk English. Did you know I was president of the United States? Between you and me, I don't even know what Iraq even means. I wish Dick Cheney would just shoot me in the face right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway, so, you been talking to anybody about it? What? You know, well, I've been talking to someone for about a couple of months now. You won't believe how good it is to get off your chest. You know, afterward, you just feel free. Yeah, man, you should have try it out if, uh, you can afford it. Yeah, well, you know, uh, I was thinking about man, starting to. I actually got to gotta hurry up and get in here, so it's nice seeing you, Lou. Uh, yeah, you too. Yeah, man, no problem. See you later, Take care. And that's when it started getting bad, you know? Rent's so expensive when you don't have a job. And, uh, you know, when you, when you have a consistent job, you just don't have any time to live. You know, you're, you're busy all the time, and you don't get to sleep. And, you know, I mean, you're just paying to stay somewhere and earn money so you can go to school somewhere so that you can... You know, maybe move somewhere to get a nicer place somewhere. But, you know, I mean, you just turn into a, like a zombie, like a shell of yourself, you know, like a, like a drone, like a drone bee. Do drone bees fuck? Drone bees? Yeah, drone bees. Did, did I make I've, that? I've seen car maybe. troubles. Huh? There's troubles with the car? Yes, yes, I am having car troubles, mm -hmm. yeah. It's, uh, the, the door on the passenger side isn't open anymore <clears throat> at all, and uh, people just have to climb in. So it's, it's kind of like that old family dog that you, you love, but it smells and it, and it limps, and you're not sure if you should just get rid of it and get a poodle, maybe. New car? I'm seeing image of a new car. Very, very strong. Very immediate future. I see a new car. Okay. It's something that you thought of but you don't remember. Okay. Okay. What about the coffee business? The, the coffee, the coffee beans. I'm, I see a change. I see it. There's a change in your career. But maybe I'll Six months? Yes, I'm getting very positive energy. It would be a positive career change. I feel just so much better about my life. I mean, when can I come back? This is amazing. Thank you. Uh, every month or so is fine, but if you feel the need that your spirit needs to be higher. My door is always open. It is. It is. Maybe I'll do that tarot card reading next time. Terror? Tarot. It's tarot. Okay. Hey, well, thank you. That was amazing. Keep me in your uh, thoughts with the spirits. Woo! Woo! change.
yoga. What? I, uh... What? Were you talking to me? Um... I... What about it? What about what? Yoga? Oh, yeah, yoga. <laughs> yoga, yeah. Yeah. Um... I'm... What I'm about the... it? What the fuck? The goddamn psychic was right. No, I didn't lock it. No, it doesn't even open from the outside. What are you implying? Yeah, everything. He took the pamphlet from the, uh, the compartment. Uh, what am I supposed to, what are all these alert noises supposed to mean? No. Yeah, and, and the coffee binder. All my coffee plants. God, the whole the whole thing's planned for him. Well, hello, mom, are you there? God damn it! Hey, hey, how's it going? Good, man. Thanks so much for meeting me here. Yeah, no problem. Glad you changed your mind. I wanted to sell to someone I could trust. Yeah, well, you know, I was thinking I want to buy it from someone I could trust. Before I can officially sell you this thing, we're going to have to go through some rules of operation. Rule number one, always keep the doors locked. If you don't, they're going to fly right open the second you hit something. Rule two, always wear a seat belt. You and everyone in the back, even though there's not enough for everyone, just you know, try to figure it out. Rule three, fuck the middle seat. Sit here, your face is going to meet the console. Rule number four, car starts to roll, hold on for dear life. You're probably going to die soon. Rule number five, this thing slides no matter what you're driving in. Dry pavement, rain, sleet, snow, it doesn't know. It's all the same. Sounds perfect. Absolutely perfect. Great. Now repeat those back to me. Hey, um, and your then. cigarette machine is broken. Oh, that? It's just art. It's not actually supposed to work. Oh. Yeah. Huh. So are you aware these are open? Yeah, I'm, I'm eating one. Oh. All right. Well, so how you doing? Good. You know, how about yourself? Not too bad. But not really. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I, my foot is killing me. Oh no. Yeah, I I cut it really bad with an axe. I think it's infected. Ouch. Yeah. Actually, you know, I'm off in a couple of minutes. Would you mind taking a look at it real quick? Um, you know, I don't really. I'll, I'll pay you. Well. No. List. Yeah! The plasti dip, whatever. Yeah. 
Free of charge, free of charge, don't worry. What are you doing there, guy? Oh, you think you're better die. than America? Well, um, you know, I... You know how many people die every year to protect your right to do stupid shit like that? Uh, take you easy. better not take that off. How would you even know if I took it off? I'll kick your ass if you do. Yeah? How about 10 minutes from now? Would you still know? Just don't take it off. Yeah, well, listen, I got nothing against 9-11. It just doesn't affect me. It affects everyone. Oh, yeah? Do you yeah. have a sticker? <laughs> Does everyone I have, have written to President Obama directly about it. Yeah? What did he say? He, well, he wasn't just, even president during that. Just, just don't take it off. I'm not joking. Well, whoops. You know what? You want the sticker? No, I Here. just fucking it. Lou, did you get all of that? Um, what? We, where are you going? Las Vegas, Lou. Uh, all right. Great. So you'll be back tonight then? No, Lou, damn it, we're going out of town. You're babysitting. What? Okay, okay, okay. Where's Where's Owen's favor list? Owen doesn't have a favor list. Owen doesn't have to do any chores? Owen Wilson doesn't have any favors he has to do? No, we didn't give him any chores. We didn't want him to feel bad. The whole adoption thing, it didn't come off right. We don't want him to feel like Cinderella. All right, fine, whatever. Goodbye. Hey. No parties. What? No, 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 just, just look for a bean party. Owen Wilson. These beans brought before us today are from the great nation of Kenya. A simple land known for simple pleasures. A people who pride themselves in family and self-pride and, and coffee beans. They never get to try these beans. They toil on the farm all day, and they never try them. We owe it to them. We owe it to Africa to try these beans for them. We owe it to them to make the best goddamn beans this world and this party has ever seen. Put your shoes on, we're going to the store. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. All right. So, who wants coffee? All right, great. Here you go. Yeah, man. 
You gotta check this out. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, don't need it. We're good. Hey, all right. <laughs> it's that kind of party. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. This coffee's awesome, dude. What'd you do to it? Oh, uh, just fresh beans and a Chemex. Nice. Chemex, where'd you get one of those? Um, in town. It's like 40 bucks. Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna start doing that. Gonna get some beans, Chemex. Gonna get myself roasted in the morning. Yeah. Wait, no, you can't. Why not? So, <laughs> wow, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I see you guys have met. You remember me from the other day? Yeah, how's yeah. it going? Good. I like your coffee. Uh, yeah, I, I made it myself. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so uh, I see you've met uh, a Peach here. Yeah. We, we all just call him Dick. What? No, that's Richard. <laughs> oh. Remember that one time you uh, you came over and, and threw up and then uh, slept in the bathtub? Yeah. yeah, that was embarrassing. That was you. Didn't you do it too? Why was I thinking you did it? It's nice to see you again, Lou. Yeah, how's, yeah. how's the yoga? Is everything uh, going well? I, I got some tight pants. That's what you wear, right? <laughs> Are you wearing them right now? Uh, no, that's, that's weird. It's, it's, yeah. You got a girlfriend? Yeah, me either. I know how that goes. I am not a crook. Isn't it about time a black person played Richard Nixon in a movie? I mean, uh, aren't we overdue for whiteface? You're just doing an impression, but you know, what if Oliver Stone saw you? Uh, so, Bailey says you're uh, opening up your own shop? Yeah, it's the plan anyway. It's, it's just hard to get investors and money. Oh, well, hey, aren't you a business major? Maybe you could uh, help them out. Yeah, I, financials are such a pain in the ass. Speaking of ass, uh, Peach, have you checked yourself for prostate cancer? What? What the hell? No. You don't do that yourself. No, I'm pretty sure you don't. No, no, listen. When you turn 40, the doctor does it for you. He does everything for you. You don't have to shove anything up your ass. See why we call him Dick? No, I, I think he might be right. Why do you think you need to do it yourself? I was, I was with this girl one time and, uh, you know, she was, she's checking her her, uh, herself for cancers, and uh, you know, I thought I might as well jump on that. Oh my god. Did you at least use a glove? Yeah. And lube? <laughs> you don't need lube, Paige. Should Owen be drinking coffee this late? Should Owen be drinking coffee at all? He's not a child, he's a small man. Hey, can you stop that? I'm trying to sleep. Stop what? The racket. I turned the volume down. <coughs> You're gonna give me a brain aneurysm. What's a brain aneurysm? Okay, fine. A brain aneurysm is when, you know, your brain is kind of, I don't know. What do you want? I want to ride bikes. Do you even have a bike? Yeah. That's my bike. No, mom said that's my bike. You still call her mom, even though she, uh, Never mind. Where's your helmet? What? Where's your helmet? <laughs> I don't know. Then we can't ride bikes. Are you serious? Yeah, we can't ride bikes without helmets. I think it's stuck. Yep. Stand back, okay?
bucket, right? My brother never got me one when I was younger. I would have loved one of these little things. Just look at their paws. There. Yeah. Yeah, affirmative. We're getting one. Where is everyone? Garçon! Do they squeak? Yeah, it's their form of purring. What do they eat? Good question. We have a lot of choices in that aisle over there. The most popular brand is Kings, but they're all good for stocking. Oh, and you have a phone. Can you write this down? It's really simple. Just... I'm, I'm not a veterinarian. I don't know what you can eat. So, can you get them wet? Well, I mean, you shouldn't be spraying them or anything unless you're bathing them. But there's no, like, weird side effects. Not that I know of. Would you be more comfortable if I got the store vet to come talk to you? Um, no, that might be a good idea. There's really not much to take care of. They're a very, very easy animal. Um, you should be fine. I'm glad that you are so concerned. So, can you feed him after midnight? This is our park. Me and uh, Andrew used to go here all the time. My dad would take us there. And, uh, I don't know why we... We didn't even live near it, but we just, um... It was just our park. I guess, um, I guess because it was nicer. This, <laughs> this one time, someone gave my dad a pet bat. A pet bat? Yeah, and um, scared the shit out of him. So he just kept it in a little cage in the garage. And uh, my mom was telling him he'd always get rabies. And so um, one day he says to me, hey, Lou, go get a bat, a, a baseball bat. And um, he wasn't even trying to be funny. But he said, uh, Lou, get a bat and get in the car. Meet me in the car. So we got in the car and uh, he said if the bat got loose, you know, to, to take it out. So we, uh, we drove to the park, middle of the night, and, uh, and he got out and he let her free. And, uh, and then he screamed and he ran back towards the car and never, never seen him scream. He screamed very loudly, always stuck with me. And then he uh, closed the door and that was pretty much it. What happened to the bat? I don't know, it, uh, it wasn't in the cage or anything anymore, so I guess it just uh, got loose and lived in nature. How did he get food? I don't know, just from the woods or something. We didn't feed it. Oh, here we are. Yeah, I'm, I'm babysitting. Do you know our parents adopted a kid? Yeah, they've been talking about for like a year. Owen? What? Since when? I mean, they told us both Thanksgiving. Lisa's in here. Lisa? What? How's the ship? What? The, uh, internship. Uh, it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go take a shot, alright? 
I'm gonna get us a couple hard lemonades. Lisa, I haven't seen you in forever. My God, how you've grown. Hey Lou, how's it going? Oh, you know, good. Hey, remember when you used to, uh... <coughs> <coughs> I have to put Owen Wilson to bed. Hey, so when are you leaving tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow morning. I was wondering if uh, you wanted to get some breakfast? Yeah, I'm down. Cool, um, what time? Probably nine. That's ah, too early. Maybe next time. It was not the chicken fried rice. What else have you had? Have you been snacking? I don't know. You don't know if you've been snacking? I mean, I've been eating some candy. Well, why'd you throw up in my bathroom? Because it's going to tell you I was sick. Well, I have to go to yoga later this morning, and, and <coughs> Peach is having a party tonight. Do I have to call Lisa to come babysit you? You're my babysitter. I didn't sign up for this shit. It's puke shit. Keep drinking. The carbonation will uh, mix with the, um, bring the toxins out, you know, like, oh, God! Hey, Lou! Hey. Like you make it, man. Yeah, well, thanks for having me. No problem. Come on. Yeah. Hey, oh, did you uh, bring me? Yeah, I, I brought somebody. I brought my puke bucket. Yeah, I brought his puke bucket. Okay, we're going anyway, man. Uh, there's mayonnaise. Okay. Thank you. I will do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, the last time you were Hey! Yeah, yeah, I do. Hey, uh, it's Christian, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you ever mentioned your name. Lou, like when uh, British people will go to the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> so how do you know Robert? Robert. Oh, Robert. You mean Pete? Yeah, yeah. Well, we were cohorts in the uh, in the good old high school days. Sold cocaine. I'm just kidding. It's, it's black. Oh. Well, he would think it's funny. It's um. So how's the coffee business? Oh, it's going well. Dad actually just opened a new place out west. Your uh, your dad is Mr. Mr. Bean Smith? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's actually looking for a new manager. I know you got bit by the coffee bug. Is that where that rash came from? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been a manager? No, but I mean, I could use uh, use the experience. I want to open my own place. Nice. I could, I could put in a good word for you. That would be great, yeah. <laughs> He's interviewing tomorrow, so just a phone call and I could get you on the list. Yes, thank you so much. That would be great. Yeah. All right. Have uh, you met Owen Wilson?
breakfast today? <laughs> Did you eat breakfast? I have to go. Where are you going? Hey, Lisa. Hey, yeah, it's it's Lou. Hey, is there any way you could just come over and babysit Owen? I uh, I sort of overslept. Ah. Uh, oh. Where is she? Not now, Owen. Okay. There she is. Hey, is there any way you can look at this phone? It's it's broken. I mean, it was working, but now it's not. And can you take a look at this? Phone. Did you get that one here? Right? We don't sell that case. Thing, so you're probably you're not buying today, are you? You're not buying no. a new phone. No, this is my phone. Can you look at it? Hey, well, did you drop it? No. Let me just let me look at it. All right. Let me just let me just see if I can do this here. Okay. Well, I'm in a bit of a rush. You find that some people are a little embarrassed when they're trying to tell somebody else that they dropped their phone in the toilet. It's a little awkward. It's an awkward. I just I can drop it. Your noise. Maybe maybe that would work a little better. And can, can you get them? I'm having some trouble. It's a little yeah, sure. A little difficult for me. It's not my forte. We don't sell that one here. It's not our thing. I understand. All right. So when did you drop the phone in the toilet? I didn't get it wet. All right. I mean, it's just it's it's turning off and on, and I don't know what's making you do that. Is there any way you can look at it? It was just in my pocket. I didn't drop it. I didn't drop it. Forty over there. That guy staring right at us, having some issues with him. I want you to assert your dominance. I need your help on this one. All right. Get over here in the flat chair. Right there, yeah. You know him. You can tell. Got that look. Sir? Seems to be the problem here today. I don't know. It's broken. Broken. Okay. Well, what did you do here? You oh, got it wet. You probably a full submersion. Right? 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 I didn't right. get it Very toilet. common. No right. submersion. Right None at all. People, you I didn't know, get it wet. The toilet is clean. Totally he didn't want to do the no, nose No, I don't thing. even. Okay. Well, well that. An issue. You know, most of the time, full submersion is not going to be covered in the warranty. Let's pull up the warranty. It could be partial. We'll see. It's probably not going to be covered. Once it gets wet, you know, you've either got two options here. Let's okay. So let's check. What's the what's the the account main account holder's name? Lewis Wilson. Lewis. Wilson. Okay. Let's get the shift right there. Got it. Got it. Enter. Okay. Uh, you are Lewis Wilson, right? I'm Lou. Lou well, Lou, Lewis, is there a huge no, but distinction it's not the there? Same it's guy. Not, Excuse me, sir. Not exactly sir. The same are we thing. asking you what your friends call you? Didn't think so. Okay. I didn't think so. Can I just, get, can can I just get a new phone? Yeah, we can get you a phone. We have plenty of phones. That's what we Great. do. iPhone, Android, you know, phones, 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 tablets. Well, I mean, we got flip phones. phones. Those are going to be flip pretty phones. cheap. Yeah, I'll take that. He wants a flip phone. What are you going to do with a flip phone? Use it to make calls. <laughs> yeah, and I want a Prius. It's a pink one. Do you want a flip phone? I tell you, it's a pink one. Can you just can you transfer the contacts from this one to my new one? Well, sir, in order to transfer contacts, the phone would have to be on. Which the phone has to be on. Good. The phone isn't on. I don't want to move. Can you some candy then? Never have dreams, Owen. So, can I have some candy? Hey, Lou, we're back. Okay. How was everything? Okay. Was Owen good? Just leave me alone.
Sugar probably boosts the old metabolism. <laughs> what? You're just funny. What, what were you saying? Well, I've um, I've been in sort of a rough patch, a rough pasture, field of thorns, and um, I was thinking, you know, I want to fix it, fix me, like activate my core and, and just take off. You know, like you can uh, you can go to school in in Germany for free, and they probably have you know like Oktoberfest and, and beer. Well, but. you can't just get free college there. You have to be a citizen. No, you, you just have to rent an apartment or uh, buy a house or you know whatever they do there. Well, but you have to pay more in taxes, though. It's not cheap. Oh. Life is expensive. Fuck. Sorry, this has just turned into me complaining. I don't even, I don't even know why I came here. Coffee depresses me. It's a stimulant, though. <laughs> See, that's where the studio audience laughs. Laugh track. I thought you wanted to do the coffee shop thing. I don't really know anymore. Well, what do you want to do? I just want to do what I want to do. And what do you want to do? See, this is my dilemma, you know, which came first, the chicken or the egg? I mean, <laughs> you know, what do you want to do? I want to be an accountant. Aren't you afraid that's going to be boring? Life's gonna be so boring. Life is boring. Did you ever think about that? Oh. thinking about uh, about how to get a job here as as a an, an employee just not a student sir I'm gonna have to ask you to keep it down well how what how did you get your job that's none of your business are you a student of course I'm a student you have to be one to get a job here yeah well all you're doing is putting books away what kind of education is that well I'm not in class right now that's that's kind of my whole point <laughs> Right now. Well, you know, think of it as a metaphor. Right now, as, as in general. If you don't get your ass out of here right now, I'm going to kick it so hard, it's going to fall off on the campus ground, and then I'll have to clean it up. Because you're not a student here, right now. All right. But i got to go meet somebody for coffee right now. I'm just trying to be the lotus, you know? Working on strengthening my core and uh, my flexibility, you know, as a person. Yeah. What the hell are you talking about? No, balance. It's all about, you know, balance and moving things. Your arms, balancing your arms and legs. Everything's about balance. So, like, meditation? Yeah, sure. Are you guys, are you guys still hiring? Oh, yeah, um, what kind of hours are you looking for? You know, the kind where I can sort of explore my existential angst. I'd like to be Walden Pond writing Thoreau. 
something's different about you. Did you have you gone a few minutes the last time you met? Honestly, I'm sort of bitter against coffee. Stay in the coffee. It's kind of a joke. You know, bitter coffee. Whatever. Guess what? I got a, a job interview at a title insurance place. <laughs> That's awesome! I know, What's yeah. What's title insurance? Uh, I don't really know. Um, titles. They they insure titles for, uh. for books, maybe. Um, I'm assuming. I mean, <laughs> what else? You know. Are you awake? Uh. I just had this awesome idea. What What if we took all the guinea pigs from Craigslist and built them like this guinea pig compound, this like massive guinea pig compound where they could all live? The end. Um, what I want to go over is what we have is uh, an acknowledgement form. Uh, we just want to make sure that as part of the, the interview process that there's regulations against any type of discriminatory questions. I want to make sure that as part of the process uh, you understand that it's something we take seriously and if at any point you feel uncomfortable with a question, I just want to make sure that you understand that um, you have a right to, um, I guess, to not answer the question or to remain silent. Remain silent. So as part of the process, <clears throat> our interview process, what we have is this acknowledgement form. If you could just sign it and say that you understand that we explained this to you and we complied with the, the, the regulations. Absolutely. All right. I'm going to go get um, Tubby. I'll be right back in a second. Okay. This is the owner. How you doing? Hi. Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Lou? Lou. So if you're looking for a short-term employment, like you're, if you, are you married? I'm not, no. You're not married? No kids? No. Nope. No baggage? Uh, no. Okay, because that's real important because, you know, we want you to come to work here. Now, the thing is, is because if you like a girlfriend, you're going to get married, you're going to move, she's in the army or something, going to move in six months, and then you're wasting our time like we're wasting yours. Because the detailed person, we like readers. You got to be able to read really I can good. read. I can read like none other. You can. I can for read sure. like Charles Dickens on a on a quiet winter evening. Okay, well that's good. That's a plus on your side because again, a lot of this stuff is is reading things that you got to be able to read. Okay. I hate. I'll tell you what. I hate you know liberals. Yes. We can't have a liberal. No problem. No problem. You're conservative. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know that's real important. You know that you don't have. You know that you don't have to run off with to get the kids you know no sick problem. kids you know and the old baggage the old ball and chain yelling at you to get home and get some milk or something and you're going to move somewhere like i say that's important to us too your social clubs are okay you don't really um mostly just uh community clubs and you do like women clubs. though of course you should be okay how about alcohol <clears throat> what's your drug preference uh drug preference is mostly caffeine to be honest well that's okay coffee kind of story here, that's okay great yeah. As long as there's no real alcohol problem, we we got a drug abused alcoholic, and he just don't work good. Okay, so here's legal description. So that's kind of the kind of the basic place to start, and from there you want to find out who the owners are, um, where they receive title. Um, also, you need to check for any open loans, anything along those lines. Hi, it's the new kid doing with the training. Oh, he's doing absolutely spectacular. The main thing is, is just make sure he's smart enough. Absolutely. You know, if he can't handle the, the smart stuff, then, you know, and can learn and stuff, we, we then we need to cut it off right away. 
Will do, sir. Okay, thank you. Just keep that eye on that. Okay, now I think maybe it'd be more beneficial if you would go put a shine on my truck when you get a moment. Oh. Uh, which truck? Uh, the dirtiest one out there. <laughs> Where'd you get this? I made it from the box. How much are you charging per cup? 50 cents per cup. Well, where'd you get the box? I don't know. Mom just bought it. I should get a percentage of this. I built this stand. I'm, I'm your agent. We can work something out. So we sell 50 cups for 50 cents. Twenty dollars. I get three. Where is everybody? Don't they know we have great lemonade? random shopping trip together. What do you mean? I'm moving out. I got my own place. I'm gonna try this whole uh, waking up on my own thing again. You can't. Do you want to go get some ice cream? Come on, let's, let's go get some ice cream. Are you excited for school? That calculator looked pretty cool, I guess. What was it like when my parents adopted you? I like my new family more. Was it bad? I got in trouble a lot. I did stuff wrong. I used to wish I was adopted. You have a good family. So you can say that, but I can't. You probably have more life experience than I do. Yeah, in my old family, we had a bunk bed with me and my brother. My brother was on the top bunk. And he wanted to touch the light with his head, because the light was on. And when he went to touch it, the fan blades were on too. And spinning fan blades. Then he just hit on the fan blades.
Thank you.